Let's have a typical Portuguese meal for lunch today. What do you think? Oh yeah. This, uh, these tables look nice. I have the whole restaurant to myself. It's usually a red flag. You don't eat at empty places, but we're gonna give them some business because he's so nice. We gotta move to the light because you know this camera's not so great uh, in low light. Basically, our friend here just explained that um, Portuguese people generally eat early, you know? 12.30, 1, 1 1.30, and uh, we're here, it's about, I don't know, over 2 p.m. So yeah, we're late. Oh, obrigado. Ah, tem um pauzinho? Isto é tradicional, pão de quatro cantos. Pão de quê? Quatro cantos. De quatro cantos? Sim, ah. pão de meu. Interessante, eu nunca vi. We have a traditional... Ah, really? Wow. So we got the Pau de Quatro Cantos. And it only exists in this region of Portugal. I don't know if that's BS, you know, just to get me excited, but... <laughs> I do feel special now. Of course... We got the Panacova water. Sorry, Luzo. Sorry, Busaco. Sorry for, uh... Oh, this was also made in the Serra do Busaco, where we explored in the uh, earlier on this trip. So yeah, I'm excited to see what the uh, what the food's gonna be like. I love I love I love eating everywhere I go. It's just uh, it's a big part of traveling for me. Always has been. So you know when you go to a place with bad food, it just kind of sucks, you know. Um, but I believe that every country always kind of like has something good. The only country that didn't have really anything good of their own was the Netherlands. The food kind of sucked there, but the cheese was un incredible. Um, yeah. Of course, the second I sat down, he put on uh, the football match, the soccer match, assuming that I would want to watch. I think it's like a must in a Portuguese restaurant, you know? Got the TV on, playing soccer. I'm not sure if... This bread is supposed to be eaten, like, without anything, but we'll try it out. Let's see. Try one little piece. Mm. That's good. That's some good bread. Oh. Queijo da serra. Ah, okay. Doce de abóbora com nozes. Wow, okay. Primeira vez conhecendo isso. Isto, isto tudo feito aqui. No, aqui na região? Aqui. No restaurante. O queijo também? O queijo não, o doce. O doce. A marmelada. Uh, doce de café. Natas do céu, rabanadas, pudim, tudo é feito aqui. Uau, wow, legal. Então isso aqui é doce da... Da abóbora. Da abóbora, ok. Com this is a This is a pumpkin uh, jelly, a pumpkin jam with nuts, right? So, I guess I'll put a little bit of that on the bread. Give that a go. Wow. Wow. E Isso é, é muito bom. O doce com o queijo, muito bom. Ok, então mais doce. Vamos ver. Vida é difícil com, com câmera e comida ao mesmo tempo. I hate making food videos because of this. I gotta focus on the cheese, focus on the jam. There you go, you see? We got the jam, the cheese. This is homemade here in the house. Qual o seu nome? Carla. Carla. Você que faz o, o doce? Doce. Vamos provar. Uau. Uau. Canela. Uau. Laranja e nozes. Laranja também tem? Abóbora, canela. Isso que eu tô. 
Isso do que eu estou sentindo a canela, que bom isso. A canela, a abóbora, as nozes e a raspa da laranja. Uau! Ótimo! E esse queijo é português ou não? É português, Serra da Estrela. Legal! Queijo de Serra da Estrela, uau! Mesmo feito artesanal. Não, é mesmo feito tudo manual. O queijo, o senhor só faz mesmo assim. Uau, aqui. Que legal. Eu, eu quero viajar aqui nessa região para conhecer esses tipos de coisas, porque se não, se eu fico em Lisboa, se eu fico em Porto, eu não vou conhecer esses os, do jeito certo, entendeu? Isso é muito bom. É muito, muito bom. Uau, é muito bom. Oh, uau. This is crazy. Mais uma cozinha só de This is so much more than I expected. Holy crap. Hopefully we got enough. We got enough battery for this meal. This is insane. This is complete insanity. I don't even know what to do. I want to continue eating that um, that cheese and pumpkin jam with the bread. But this, the way the steak is looking at me, look at that. It's like. You got the steak, just cloves of garlic, so visible on the top there. And it's a massive, he gave me a massive piece. This is crazy. I wonder how much he's gonna charge me for this. And these, uh, these are the typical Portuguese potatoes that they kind of serve with everything. Forgot what they're called. Ooh, he's bringing more stuff. I can't believe it. Você tá louco? Quanto comida é isso? Uau, 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 uau. Você vai me matar, hein? Uau, incrível. This is gonna be... Start up with one of these guys. Hum. If french fries and potato chips had a baby, it would be that right there. The perfect combination. So... What I do like to have on my plate always is some rice and some salad. Now the main difference here in Portugal, you know, between Portugal and Brazil, what I was more used to is that they don't have the beans with the rice. But if you look at what I have here, we don't really need any beans. And uh, let's get some salad on there too. Although we, can, we could have just kind of left this on the plate and picked at it throughout the meal. And then, um, man, the steak, I really don't know where to start. I really don't know. I guess we'll just, oh. Oh, he sliced it. Check this out, guys. He already sliced it up. That is, wow. I really hope that the lighting is okay in here to get this um, this whole experience because wow. Cheers to the northern region of Portugal, to Douro. Mmm. No. That's a crazy steak. This is an amazing meal. I actually think we should tell them to turn the game off because we're not watching it. But you know what? It's part of the vibe. I'm gonna use this time to apologize to the people who don't like watching food videos because I don't always like making them, so I understand you. I'm definitely on that side of things. I prefer to watch a travel video where there's a little bit of food and more traveling and more interactions. But um, I know there's a lot of people who do like this, so you're just gonna, I guess, I'm gonna let you guys watch me eat the rest of this steak and it'll take me some time. Especially because, you know, I'm gonna be talking throughout the meal. But um, 
I think that we can cover some cool topics in this video, um, especially for whoever's interested in traveling and visiting Portugal, specifically this region. Um, obviously at this point, I don't have that much information to give. I'm not an expert on the region. I'm not an expert on Portugal. Mm. But I definitely feel like through the experiences that I've had in other countries and um, my brief moment over here, I feel like that I do have some, some good insight. I can give you some tips on how to get lost in Portugal, give you some, some of the professional tips. See, now I'm talking nonsense. That's what happens when um, the food's so good. You want to focus on the food and not on the story. That is the problem with food videos. And I was just explaining this to someone the other day. Someone messaged me on Instagram because I put up this Instagram post basically asking my followers, hey, like, you know, what kind of video ideas do you like? I threw up like four ideas and um, I wanted them to have a vote. I basically did a vote, a poll to see what people thought. And I put a bunch of different options. I put, um, you know, one idea was making a video about the difference between the Portuguese and the Brazilian dialect and Portuguese, you know, which one was better to learn. Another idea was, you know, going to a touristic city in Portugal and speaking to tourists in um, five different languages. Another type of video that I put up um, as an option in the poll would be, you know, going into a um, random Portuguese village alone. Um, and then another type of video was a Portuguese food review. So a lot of people like the idea of the food review because everyone likes food. But a lot of the people who are voting, like, they don't, I don't even think they watched my videos. I think they just clicked it because they were like, oh, I love food. I want to see what Portuguese food's like. But then, this one girl, she voted food and then she sent me a DM. She was like, always the food option. It's always the best option. And so I told her, I'm like, yeah, you know, it's easy for you to say as a viewer, but they're really not the funnest videos to make. I told her, I was like, I really don't like making food videos. And she was like, well, why not? And I told her, well, it's because there's various reasons. One, it's hard to get a good angle. Two, um, it's not like you can only say so much while you're eating food. Like how, like, you know, it's, I don't know, it's just hard. And, and three, um, when the food's good, you want to enjoy it. You don't want to have to like engage with an audience while you're eating, you know? So, today I'm a hypocrite because I'm, you know, I'm shitting on food videos and I'm making one. But that's what it is. Wow. I just remembered something, by the way. We gotta get, you know, if this, if I end up calling this video like Portuguese steak or something like that, like I'm gonna need the steak in the thumbnail, you know? So, I need to take this moment, sorry guys, while you guys are watching, I need to take this moment to get the thumbnail and then, ah, oh, tá ótimo, tá muito bom. Take this moment to get the thumbnail and also check to make sure that we have enough battery. The camera's rolling. There we go. Do we have enough? Oh boy. I don't know. We might have to, um, tell our men to get the get the extra battery because if the ex, if this battery dies we're screwed but anyways here's the give me the the, the thumbnail see i don't know i don't know how to do a good thumbnail like you know act surprise There it is. We don't need to over exaggerate the thumbnail. Oi, amigo! I'm gonna have our friend, <laughs> I'm gonna ask him for a favor. I don't know if this is a weird favor to ask for, but 
Eu posso te pedir um favor? Sim. Tem no carro minha mochila. Não, vai abrir aqui. This is trust. I'm trusting my fellow Portuguese friend the keys to my car. Tá trancado agora? Tá trancado. Obrigado. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Me lembra seu nome de novo? Paulo. Huh? Paulo. Paulo. Muito obrigado. You know, Paulo, Paulo brought me the backpack, so I got my, my batteries. And here is the steak. Now, instead of waiting for the battery to die, and, you know, having to realize that we lost a lot of film, I'm going to switch the battery now, after this bite, and we'll continue the video. I have a few more thoughts that I want to get across. I'm telling you, with a meal like this, you can't eat too many of these guys. These guys, will, these are the killers. I figured now would be a time where I can tell my story of arriving in Portugal. You know, especially if you're a Portuguese viewer, I know that all you guys want to know is, oh, what do you think of Portugal? What do you think of our country? Um, aside from this amazing steak in the countryside. Well, I'll share that with you right now. I arrived in Portugal, um, about 11 days ago, something like that. And unfortunately, this, the day I arrived, the second day I arrived, I got sick. I already felt like I was a little sick coming in, but it really got bad. And then I spent like eight days kind of immobilized, very weak, um, didn't have the vid, tested negative, so it was something else. But um, anyways, towards like day eight, I already started gaining back full strength. And so, unfortunately, you know, staying in Lisbon and being sick most of the time gave me kind of a bad taste of the city. Um, although the last day where I filmed the video with Karina was a really awesome day, perfect weather, amazing vibe, and uh, met some cool people. So that kind of saved it. Um, my first impressions of Portugal went from being eh to like amazing. And I also knew that I was going to have some sort of connection with Portugal. Um, just because of the language and, and, and some of the food and the culture. I know that it's very different than um, what I was used to in Brazil. Very, very different. Portugal is not, is not like Brazil at all. If you're watching this video thinking that I'm going to start saying how it's similar to Brazil, it's not. Um, but with that being said, when you go to Brazil, you still, you, you taste all these foods and you see all these things that are originally Portuguese, you know? I'll give you a couple examples. Just uh, after I finish chewing this, oh my god. Anyways, what was my point? What was I saying? Oh, the food in Brazil that resembles Portuguese food. So in Brazil, you eat uh, very often. You'll eat something called uh, bolinho de bacalhau, right? That's how the Brazilians say it. bolinho, which is like a little ball. Bola is ball. Bolinho. The The, the diminutive, bolinho de bacalhau, little codfish ball, little bacalhau ball. Bacalhau, it's codfish that's dried um, and it's very, very famous from Portugal, right? So the bolinho de bacalhau here in Portugal is actually called pastel de bacalhau. Pastel de bacalhau. It's the same thing. When you say pastel de bacalhau, you're referring to bolinho de bacalhau and vice versa. So eating that so many times in Brazil and then coming to Portugal to see like the original thing is pretty awesome and obviously the Portuguese make it the best that the Brazilians can even admit. Um, another thing that I saw a lot of in Brazil that I'm seeing here now, I mean I guess pastel de nata I also saw in Brazil but it's not as popular as it is here. Um, also obviously better here in, in Portugal and another thing that I ate in Brazil a lot, I mean, I went to a couple of restaurants in Rio de Janeiro that were like typical Portuguese, right? And um, I'll just tell you the name, because honestly, if you're going to Rio and you want to go there, it's so good. Um, it's called Nova Capela. My friend uh, Lucas from Rio recommended that to me. Shout out Lucas, if you're watching this. Best restaurant I've eaten at in Brazil, hands down. And it's Portuguese, like obviously, you know? So that just says something about Portugal's cuisine. like. If, I'm telling you, I ate at so many restaurants in Brazil. Anyone who knows me knows this. I ate at so many restaurants in Brazil. My favorite restaurant in the whole entire country, well, maybe besides Barbacoa, uh, my favorite restaurant in the whole entire country is Nova Capela 
in the center of Rio de Janeiro. It's in the historic center, which also kind of looks like Lisbon. It's not the safest part of town, but uh, you know, like right near Lapa and stuff. But the restaurant's so good, and they and it's like they have the bacalhau like they do it in Portugal. They have the bolinho de bacalhau like they do it in Portugal. Insane, and they make amazing caipirinhas. So it's like the best of both worlds. Caipirinha is a you know a Brazilian cocktail. So it's like the best of both worlds. And now coming to Portugal, I don't even know if this is interesting to anyone, but you know we're just. If it's a food video where we gotta talk about food, you know? If we pound this whole thing, I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing it, but if I pound the whole thing, then like, we might have to not vlog anymore today. Like, this might be it. Check it out. I think I'm halfway done. Pessoas normalmente comem nesse inteiro? Duas pessoas. Duas pessoas. Nós. Eu aqui... falei para Paulo, ele quer me matar. Hein? Mas temos aqui um otário da, da régua que para aqui sempre. Ele sozinho come um e meio. Um e meio? I don't know if I should be embarrassed or proud that I'm about to finish the steak. Quanto é grama esse steak? Sabe? Foi até aqui. Não se preocupe, Calma. É. <laughs> She was in the middle of doing something and I just asked her like, how many grams is this steak? She's going to run and find out for me. She's so sweet. Wow, entre 800 e 1 kg. Okay, muito obrigado. All right guys, so we're doing a kilo. I guess we're doing a kilo. <laughs> it's kind of fucked on a road trip. Another funny thing about the uh, restaurants in Portugal, a lot of them do this because they know like there's just oil and cheese and jam flying everywhere. So they give you these these mats, you know, these paper mats. Because otherwise I would have fucked up their whole, you know, the cloth. So that's one thing they do. Another thing, usually they give you the napkins. These napkins are actually good. These are legit, so they're using good napkins. but. A lot of the other restaurants use like the um, the napkins that are the same material as like baking sheets, so they don't. It's really weird. Like, you, let's say your your hands are oily, you want to dry them, you start drying them, and it just doesn't it doesn't absorb the oil. It just spreads it even more. And in Brazil, we used to laugh about that. It's called like papel manteiga, like butter paper. You know the ones that you bake with baking sheets. And yeah, and whenever your hands were dirty and you wanted to clean them, it would just spread the dirt. It wouldn't do anything, uh, it wouldn't be of any use, you know? Check it out. What's really fun with these potatoes, honestly, they're not that good when they're dry, but when they're soaked in the sauce, that's like, that's, that's godly, it's so good. I don't know, if you're Portuguese, you know what I'm talking about. There's nothing like, those potato chips getting soaked in the sauce. This is amazing. I don't know. Espera com isso aqui. She's bringing... Oh. Wow. She's already... She's already... She's already giving me desserts. Esta é rabanada. Oh. Típico. Vamos esperar com isso. Okay. Okay. Mas esta eu tenho que aquecer e deitar molho. Ah, sim. French toast, rabanada, she wants to give me that. Crazy, you're gonna be French toast after this? It's a crazy country. Esta é feita com o pão e depois o molho, mel, canela, vinho do Porto. O norte de Portugal é diferenciado, hein? Vocês estão... Uau! We're finishing the steak, and then um, maybe we'll have a bite of the dessert, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Guys, last couple bites. This is it, we pound the whole steak. We did the whole thing. We did the whole thing. Hold up. 
Au haut du mont. Wow. As you can see, oh, we got a little guy hiding over here. Last piece hiding. The kilo of steak is gone. There's gonna be a fat bill waiting for me at the end. Maybe not, maybe they surprise me. They will now say, this is dosage cafe, which means uh, sweet coffee, coffee sweet. And uh, it looks like, yeah, it's soft. I don't know, I want you guys to check it out. We can break into it. It's got like uh, cookie crumbs. Oh wow. That's good. That's some serious. Mm. Definitely some sort of cream there at the bottom. And there's a cookie in between. And then they have the cookie crumbs at the top. That's incredible, I'm not gonna eat the whole thing though. Cause I have to, um, you know, I gotta stay alive. I gotta be alert on the wheel. Now, before I give them too good of a review, I'm gonna taste the, the habanada, I'm gonna taste the French toast, and I wanna see how much this bill came out to. I'm really curious. Assuming that they charge me on the steak, fries, salad, rice, bread, cheese, jam, water and two desserts. I think that we're over 40 euros. We gotta be, you know, over 30. Oh, wow. Isso é com canela e... Canela, mel, limão, vinho do Porto. Oh, tem vinho de Porto também? Wow. Vinho do Porto. Oh, que... Wow, okay. So that's a special habanada. This is a French toast. Not like we know it, you know, back at home. Oh, wow. You got the French toast. Of course, she topped it with more cinnamon. And she added um, a syrup and a, uh, a a port wine. You know, Vigna de Porto. So you got a port wine, uh, which is typical of this region. Wow, give that another look. Incredible. Oh. Look at those juices. We're gonna break into this. This is gonna be the, uh, it's gonna be the end of our food video, guys. After we, after this, we're gonna find out the price. No posso pegar a conta, a conta de pagar. Essas rabanadas muito procuradas todos os dias nós fazemos assim. Wow. Incrível. É a pessoa. Wow, it's amazing. As pessoas comem isso de manhã, ok? De manhã, ao meio-dia, à noite, quando vêm tomar o café, o café, uma rabanada. Honestly, I don't know if it's just because I'm a foreigner, but. This blew me away. The basic food was just very well done. Basic steak, potatoes, incredible. Um, I think that the highlights of this meal in terms of uniqueness. Definitely the rabanada and then the, um, that whole pumpkin jam cheese combination. Like putting nuts and cinnamon in the pumpkin jam. It's just, I don't know, it was so good. I didn't even know that pumpkin jam was like a thing. I, ne I never even craved that once in my life, but that with the bread and the cheese was incredible. And this with the port wine and the cinnamon is just, Unreal. <sighs> Unreal. And the service is very friendly. She's going to bring the check right now. I see her coming. We'll see what we got here. 20 and 50. Wow. You're lying. <laughs> Mentira. 20 euros and 50 cents for all that food. So uh, I'm going to pay the bill and we are going to get out of here, right into the food coma. <laughs> Till the next one.